Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I just got back from a huge shopping haul and I wanted to share with you guys everything that I picked up. I have three bags right next to me, one from Primark, one from Only and one from the shoe brand Skechers. And we are just going to dive into all of these bags together and I'm going to share with you a try on haul. So yeah, let's quit the rambling and let's start with the first bag to see everything that I picked up today. Okay, I moved over to the side a little bit so I can share the try on clips right here in this empty frame beside me. So the first bag, the only bag, I really needed some new jeans and the only blush jeans are my go-to. Those are my ride or die. I wear them almost every single day and I basically own them in every single color. Only downside is that because of the chafing of the thighs, these jeans tend to thin a little bit over there in between your legs. So every now and again, they are so extremely thin that they are about to break and I need to pick up some new ones. So today I was in luck because they actually had a 20% off on every jeans. So therefore I picked up three pairs, no, not three pairs. Well, basically three pairs of jeans. The first one is like a light washed denim. They are all like the skinny jeans with frilly bits on the bottom. Well, I don't know if they all have the frilly bits on the bottom, but they are basically all the skinny jeans because let's face it, I'm a millennial and I have a hard time saying goodbye to my skinny jeans. So therefore I'm just holding on to them very tight. The blush jeans are very stretchy as you can see, but they don't leave their fits throughout the throughout what, what even is throughout throughout the day. So they do have a very decent amount of stretch in them, but throughout the day they just keep their fit and their style so they won't go all baggy on you. So the first one is a lighter wash. I really love this color because you can basically pair it with anything that you want and everything just looks good with a light pair of jeans. I always pick the blush skinny jeans up in a size extra large and the length size is a 32. I don't even have to go and fit these in the dressing rooms because I just know that these will fit. And I believe they all had the same pricing, but the normal price for this is 44 euros and 99 cents. But let's have a quick look. And with the 20%, like there is almost nine euros off of each. So yeah, a little bit of discount did not hurt me. So that is the first only blush jeans. Moving on with the second pair and this one is a lot of shades darker in comparison with the previous one. It is just a very dark denim wash with a little bit of lighter vibes on your leg. This one actually does not come with the frilly bit so this just has a normal hem. It has the same stretch as the previous one, the same look and feel and yeah, I also really love to have like a very dark one. I did not own like this dark kind of denim before, so I'm definitely very happy that I can now switch up between light and dark. And I also have a black one and a light gray one already in my wardrobe, so I can definitely mix and match all these colors. And yeah, I cannot stress enough how well these fit, especially when you have like a little bit of bum, a little bit of ties and just like the curvy girl vibes, then I definitely recommend you trying on some of these jeans. Let's have a look. Obviously, I also picked this one up in a size extra large and a length size of 32. This one was a little bit more expensive. I don't know why. Maybe this is like a newer collection, but the normal pricing for this is 49 euros and 99 cents, but obviously also a 20% discount. So I paid a little less. Moving on with the final pair of jeans. This is the lightest shade that I picked up today. And yeah, it's like a little bit lighter 
than the first one. Oh, it's definitely a few shades lighter. So that is perfect for a spring and for summer to make a little combination with some floral items or like white and white sneakers. I really love the look of that. And this one actually has a few of these like damaged, distressed kind of areas on it. But yeah, a very light one. Cannot wait for spring, cannot wait for summer, but also with a cute white knit. This can look very adorable in combination with some lighter chunky boots or even some white sneakers. It would look very great. Another one in extra large and a length size 32. And this one was also 44 euros and 99 cents and also a 20% discount over this one. Another random item that I picked up at C&A is this hoodie with black pink on it. I just love my girls and every time I see an item with black pink, I need to get it because I just want to support these girls as much as I can because they basically have all the money in the world and I'm still spending my money on them, but oh well. This is not the official merch from the tour because I actually was one of the lucky people that went to the concert like a year ago, maybe one and a half years ago. I don't know, but they were in the Netherlands and I was so thrilled to be at the Blackpink concert. But on the back, you it's very difficult to grab a sweater. You can see Born Pink World Tour 2023, it was. And you can see all the places that they've been to. Amsterdam was the one that I went to. Um, obviously, I have the official sweater that I picked up at the merch stand. And I also picked up one of their t-shirts. But I have only washed it like two or three times. But the print is already disappearing. So I do not dare to wear t shirt because the girls are barely visible anymore. So yeah, very comfortable for slouching on the couch or for wearing when you are going to uh, dance practice or a gym or working out like a black pink hoodie. You can never go wrong, you know. So pick this one up in a size extra large for the oversized fit and I paid 25 euros and 99 cents for this one. Moving on with some shoes from Skechers. They actually gave me this very a handy dandy backpack which is also very handy for the gym and yeah I was just very pleased with this kind of bag that they gave me and this is actually my first pair of sketches ever because like <clears throat> when sketchers first started out they had very comfortable shoes but they all looked like not kind of my vibe the shoes basically looked like any old mom or grandma would wear but they really upped their game in the past few years so now they actually have like some decent looking sneakers they look very trendy and i thought i am getting a little bit older you know so i am all for comfort and my body aches all the time so comfortable shoes are a must so i went over and picked up my first ever sketcher so let's grab them out so this is the box that they come in, the Skechers Max Cushioning Ultra Go Comfort Air Cooled Goga Mat Lightweight Microfiber Padded Tongue. There is a lot on here. I went for the Max Cushioning Elite Step Up and they were basically at the running section. Because, yeah, I just like it to be very comfortable, especially when I'm heading over to Disneyland Paris, which is very soon. So if you're interested in that, stick around. In Disneyland Paris, you need some decent shoes to make your trip as memorable as possible. Because you do not want to think back on your Disneyland Paris trip and think, I only had sore feet for the entire day. So, yeah, I needed some new white sneakers, comfortable sneakers. Sketchers. So this is the one that I went with. Obviously, this is a little thing that needs to be removed. So I do not have a fleshy pink, purple, blue thingy on the tongue. But they basically remind me a little bit of the Nike shoes. And they are just 
very comfortable the nose is very high that is the only thing that i really needed to get used to when i walked in the store and looked at my shoes in the mirror when i'm holding it like this you can actually see that the tip of the nose is like all the way in the air so that is something that i visually need to get used to but other than that it's like walking on clouds basically so yeah max cushioning white sneakers they look pretty trendy if you ask me if you think it's a grandma shoe definitely let me know in the comments down below because I would really love to know what your thoughts are on Skechers and like these type of shoes. But yeah, some white shoes, very cute with my light jeans. Cannot wait to break these in and hopefully take with me to Disneyland next week. If the weather is going to be like the weather for these kinds of shoes because I can also bring my winter boots. like. I have options but I actually had the luxury of it being in sale so normally these shoes are 120 euros but today I got a nice a little discount because these shoes were in sale and I picked these one up for 95 euros so definitely once again very lucky with some discounts Moving on with the final bag, which is a Primark bag. I have seen so many cute Primark hauls on TikTok, but unfortunately all the cute stuff was gone in the Primark store that I went to. So yeah, that was a big bummer, but I still managed to find some cute bits and bobs and I also picked up some basics. So uh, let's dive into this Primark bag. The first thing that I picked up and will definitely not show a try-on clip of is this sports bra. I really like the cute white detail on the bottom and it is actually one of those sports bras that you can make onto your own liking because you can adjust the bag and you can also adjust the straps and yeah it just really caught my eye the material looks great the quality looks very good i was really in need of some new sports bra so yeah very happy that i found this one and could pick it up in my size i did try it on already and it fit fits very good so therefore i'm very happy pick this one up in a size large and you pay 12 euros for this one Next up, the most adorable lightweight spring jacket caught my eye in a very gorgeous green color that goes very well with my hair, if I say so myself. It has some golden buttons and some pockets on the side and it feels like one of those nice thicker fleecy materials, but it's not a fleece jacket, but it is just very comfy and very soft and also very lightweight so definitely a go-to jacket for spring and yeah i just thought it looked very cute they also had this one in black and also in like a taupe beige brownie color but yeah i have so many black jackets and i do not own a lot of stuff that goes with uh, beige or taupe and yeah, this color just goes so well with my hair that I had to pick up the green one. And I believe that this actually is one of those items that you see flashing by on TikTok every now and again. I picked this one up in a size large because it fits very boxy and nicely oversized. And you pay 28 euros for this lightweight spring jacket. Moving on with a nice little striped sweater. If you know me a little bit longer, then you definitely know that I'm all about stripes and dots and like a little black and white prints. But I believe that I did not pick up any stripes or dots in a while, I hope. So therefore I thought I was due to a new striped sweater or knit. It is not a very thick one, so it is perfect for that in between weather when it's still a little bit cold it's still winter but you are heading into some nicer temperatures 
it also has a cute detail on the back so it actually looks like a cardigan when i'm holding it up like this but this is actually the back so you have some button action it does not actually open so it is just for show and yeah i thought this would look very cute with one of those lighter denim jeans especially when you make a little combination with some white sneakers from sketchers and then you're good to go with a cute little outfit pick this one up in a size medium and these go for 15 euros each moving on with a white t-shirt with a little print on the front it says spread love and it has a checkered pink heart in the back it is a very oversized boxy t-shirt as you can tell because it almost does not fit the frame a very lightweight cotton t-shirt and yeah i thought this would be very cute for dance practice or maybe in summer days you can make a little combination with some biker shorts or a lighter denim i'm just keep saying lighter denim because everything fits and matches with some lighter denim but yeah basically pick this one up for dance practice but maybe it is cute to wear um, just casually spread love very cute sweet little detail pick this one up in a size large so beware because these are very oversized and you only pay six euros for a cute little t-shirt I was also in desperate need of a nice little black long sleeve and the only one I could find that had a nice feeling material was a little turtleneck but it is like the smallest of turtlenecks that you can find very lightweight very thin so hopefully it will last longer than the thinness of this shirt very basic pick this one up in a size large and they are basically on like one of those big tables that you have multiple colors and you only pay seven euros for this but this is very nice for layering or wearing with one of those sleeveless vests that are knitted so yeah i definitely needed a black one because i only have white and purple i guess so i also needed a black one moving on with some boring basics i have a black t-shirt nothing special about this whatsoever it has a nice v-cut in the front pick this one up in a size medium and you only pay three euros and fifty cents for these they also come in a lot of colors and you can just mix and match and have like all the basic t-shirts that you need so therefore i also picked up a white one with the same little v-neck also in a medium nothing special about this three euros and fifty cents more basics because primark is like the bomb for basics but this time i have a white little tank top also good for layering or matching with cardigans this one has a nice ribbed detail on the front but other than that very basic a medium and this one is even cheaper three euros and obviously if you know me another one in black is coming right along another tank top like yeah i can show you guys so you know that it's there but yeah this is not the stuff that you are coming for i guess but that was also in my bag and Primark is also going strong in the Disney department. They have a lot of cute sweaters, t-shirts, pajamas, homeware, like basically everything. Bags, if I have not already said that, maybe I said it twice, I don't know anymore. And the one thing that I actually found right at the moment when I wanted to pay for all of my clothes were these little munchling pins these are so adorable and i know how expensive pins can be in the disney parks but right here you have three little adorable pins and they are only four euros so i definitely needed to pick these up for my collection and they are just very cute and adorable and the final item that i have right here is also a non-clothing item 
as you could have probably guessed. This is one of the Primark's Body 101 Anti-Chafe Body Balms. Watermelon fragranced with grapeseed oil and vitamin B. Vitamin E, sorry. <laughs> and this is just one of those anti-chafing sticks that you can put in between your legs or maybe your armpits or anything where you feel uncomfortable when it is chafing against another body part. I don't really need this right at this moment, but I definitely know from experience that when I am looking for this in summertime, this is nowhere to be found. So therefore I just chucked it in my basket so I already have this for when the weather is going to get hot. Because sometimes you do not want to wear biker shorts under your dress. So hopefully this is going to do its work and you can actually wear your cute little summer dress without having thunder ties and chafing everything to pieces. So four euros, definitely a bargain. Hopefully it works. And that were all the items in this try on haul. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, what was your favorite pick and what item would you rather have left in the store. Let me know because I'm always very curious. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. And you would also be helping me and the growth of this channel out a lot. Also, comments are doing wonders with the YouTube algorithm. So definitely let me hear your voice or let me hear your thoughts thoughts. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos and vlogs I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!